Um, she just meant to expand the issue. Um, I would like to say that um, by opting to end life um, by for a patient, by opting to end life on his or her own terms, um, a terminally ill patient spares his family and friends the fearful uncertainty of when their loved one is going to pass. Moreover, there is a greater opportunity for friends and family to say their final goodbyes and find closure at the loss of their loved one through a peaceful and um, controlled atmosphere. Um, I would further like to say that um, it is our duty to help these people. Um, they're in extreme pain. Uh, I know I keep saying that, but they are. Think about it. Would you want to be in extreme pain and not be able to end it? Um, uh, our current medical systems are not advanced enough to save them sometimes, even though there is medication to save them. Um, not a, a lot of times, as mentioned before, it's not good enough. And who are we to say, well, let's make the doctors um, give them more medication and treat them better. Well, yes, I agree completely that we should give them more medication and treat them better, but at the same time, this isn't happening. And it's going to take a lot to make it happen. So who are we to um, prolong a person's life just on the basis of wanting to be ethical and treating the patients with better medications when we actually aren't. Um, hmm. The medical do news today says that 58% of cancer uh, patients have pain from their treatment and 46% pain from, uh, oops, that wrong? 46% pain from the actual cancer. So even if they have uh, treatment, it's, there's still pain and um, treatment is uh, something that I would agree with, even though I am also for euthanasia. I'd say that ultimately there is an extent to which it can help. Um, one doctor um, who wants to remain anonymous said that, I have no qualms at all, he said. I think the basis of our ethos is to relieve suffering, not prolong not prolong life beyond a ridiculous point. And that's um, in response to the Hippocratic Oath. Um, even though it says, above all, do no harm, I believe that it is more harm not to relieve the person of their suffering, especially when they want to um, end their life in a peaceful, controlled way instead of who knows when. Um, there's also the trust issue between the patient and the doctor. I just want to mention again that it's complete, um, at least our policy is completely between, it's completely a voluntary issue. Um, so there's not really, uh, I'd say there's a false mistrust issue because it's completely up to the patient and if the patient doesn't want to do it, then there's no issue at all. The doctor cannot, cannot give them euthanasia. So, um, and they mentioned that Oregon was failing. Well, I just want to point out that um, the or the summary of Oregon's Death with Dignity Act in 2008 says that 19.4 um, deaths out of 10,000 were Death with Dignity Acts. So it's actually 19.4 out of 10,000. That's, that's nothing, guys. They're, they are not taking advantage of it. These people are they're dying because they're already going to die, and they just want to end their suffering. So I would say that Oregon is doing well and we should follow their lead. Um, so yeah, if you want to help a person in pain, you should support euthanasia because, um, well, it's whose life is it anyway, right? They want to and they're in pain and they're going to die within six months. Just think about it.